Hey guys, how are you? Here is Fernando from Brutus do Cascavento. Hey guys, alright? All okay, Fernando? And when trimming, you always have a surprise, isn't it, Fernando? We were washing, removing the dirty, and we came across a stone. A stone. So we removed the dirty here, there, and it got to be appearing. There was still a small layer of who holding it up, so I've tried to remove it, but we can make a bad position here. So I will try to pull this stone here. I'll see if I can remove it here. Check it out, guys. Wow, it is a crater, Fernando. Look at this hole. And made a big hole, right, Nando? Fernando, did it have a hole and it came in, or did it make the hole? So, I believe that due to the hole do and the size of the hole, I believe that because it's pointed, it could enter the softest part of the hole, and you know it was drilling and drilling, and now, and now what we are going to have to do? No, no, we cannot leave this hole. We are going to have to do the trimming. We're going to make the hoofing, and if we leave it, the, all the dirty is going to end up inside. So I have to open this here in a way that the dirt doesn't stop, and we are going to make a bandage. I'll tell you, now I already got stones in the hoof, and we even removed one small stone in the hoof, but not that big. There are several stones that came in because a lot of rain, it's raining a lot here in the region. These crushed stones, they are very complicated because when it takes the sharp, the sharp part, they enter like a nail. And the hoof is very wet, isn't it, Fernando? It's, it's very wet. Yes, we are almost not using other tools because the hoof is really soft. So I need to remove all that part to not get more dirt inside and make a protective bandage for the hoof to regenerate. So, oh my gosh, I have to remove all that part of the hoof loose and another cleaning will be done here. I'll give him the medication and we'll do injectable because it was something deeper then, so we do an antibiotic or an anti-inflammatory and now that the dirt is it's not going to be stopped here, so we'll apply a bandage. Just look at how much you had it to take it out just to make this realization. The important thing is to clean the place well because it took a lot of time for the animal. And the animal didn't show much so it walked it because it that it had something on its hoof because it was an animal that defended itself and skittish and angry and it didn't limp much. I'm going to use here the hoof care now. Bactericido and Bactericido and Fungicido and we'll help strengthen the hoof and we will make the dressing and also a protective boot. Take a look guys, Fernando has already done the protection, the bandage. We have already done all the medication, the protection has been done and now we are going to show it. So, that's it. We are already made the protective boot. Now, now let's show in walking with the boot. Yeah, let's do it. This is a very skittish ox. I will, it was limping a lot because of the pain. It was feeling, right? Yeah, but I couldn't imagine a stone. Could be anything, but I didn't imagine a stone. Surprise appeared. The hoof, other hooves are well already done. Hereafter, product and this little boot will be very resistant because it stays dry and it's like a plaster that doesn't let the dirt in and it's also protecting the, the medicines and products that were passed on the injury. So let's make this release here now. Take a look, guys. The ox is a little stressed due to the pain. He really felt it. Fernando, really, the ox is really skittish. We 
can denote the injury because when he approaches, he passes quickly. It's a strong ox, isn't it, Naudu? And to help an ox that doesn't show that he has such a serious problem. Now, but the mandate is done in the protection. How many days, Fernando? He's gonna have 30 days of the bandage. This animal doesn't, doesn't talk much. 2274 Brangos and stressed. But we have to deal with tame and braves. We don't have much choice. Exactly, because we are quiet here in the corner. Even so, he comes here wanting to advance on us. And that's it, guys. Let's wait for the animal to recover and we are going to leave it here to not stress him anymore. Everyone stay with God until the next video, God willing. Our motto is to listen to those who have no voice to be heard.